Well, let's see if I can uh, put a little Jiggy Moto card right there. Ugh, get out the bag. Put it right here. There's nowhere to put it. Jiggy Moto. Fold the corner. Jiggy Moto. There we go. <laughs> Maybe somebody will see it. Well, I made it to Lockport and I've been talking the whole way here and I don't think that I had my camera on. But uh, that's cool. I made it here. Take a closer look at... Uh, take a closer look. If you look really closely, you could see fish jumping all over the place. And they're not little fish. These are like three foot long catfish and there's thousands of them in there. Oh, it's just so cool. And I just, I, oh, I just seen one jump right over there. So I had to check my camera and no, it wasn't recording. That's fucking blah. But yeah, I, uh, I drove all the way down here through a river road. And this road follows the river all the way to the city. And it, I don't even know how far this is. This, uh, uh, I don't know, 15 kilometers, 20 kilometers. So it's not, it's not a long road, but it's uh, nice and twisty windy. Follows the Red River all the way till you get here. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but in this channel here, see it's low down here and high up there. If you want to cross in a boat, so if th that boat's, I don't know if you can see, I'm going to try to zoom in on it, but uh, that boat's going into this little chamber, like a little garage for boats, and then they close the door behind them, and then they let all the water out until it gets to this level down here, and then you can drive through. So it's just like uh, the lock port. This is where you go through the locks. And you go from one side to the other. Oh, cool. Oh, that looks like a ton of fun. So yeah, they're gonna let boats in and then they're gonna let all the water out and then they're gonna open up this gate on this side so they can go over here and probably fish like I wanna be fishing. Anywho. Yeah, lockboard. Kinda cool, kinda cool. The road's even better. Oh my god, there's a there's a teepee. Somebody has a teepee in their yard. It's not something you see every day. But it's definitely a teepee. Wow. I just want to hit this road at like 100k. Oh, that'd be so much fun. It is so nice out today. There's like a warm breeze. I'm probably going to get a little tanned, I guess. Working on my farmer tan. Yeah, but this house here, this is this is the one that gets me. This is a big, big beautiful home. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Oops. Nice they have these little spots here with picnic tables and trees and parking spots. You can go in there and hang out for the afternoon. Kind of awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's a big fucking buffalo thing in this yard. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Hey, if I could put a buffalo in my front yard, a big fucking statue of a buffalo in my yard, if I fucking do it. So yeah, you can uh, dump your boat in the water anywhere, fly all the way out to Lockport, do a little fishing, fly all the way back to the city, go all the way through, right to downtown Winnipeg, and uh, there's a park there, so you can uh, jump, a big dock, you can jump off the boat, and there's all kinds of shops and markets, and and uh, like farmers markets and crafty stuff, and there's a bar and food and all kinds of restaurants. So yeah, I mean, you jump off, go have an afternoon of eating and drinking, jump back in your boat, fly all the way back here. Oh my God. Well, that was a fun little ride down River Road. I feel a little bit warm on my uh, on my arms. I've been out all day, and I think it's 30 degrees out today. I'm not sure. Still got to figure out how to set that time. It says 7.22 a.m. And that's definitely not that. It might be... I'm going to guess. It's going to be... 4 o'clock in the afternoon? Ish? Something like that. <sighs> yeah, what a great day. What a fantastic day. All day riding. It's Sunday, so I gotta work tomorrow. But gotta go home, do a little dishes and uh, a little bit of laundry, and clean up the house a little bit. I'm gonna adult for a little while. 